Chicago for a while to work for Skidmore, Owings, and Merrill. I'm talking now about the more northern of the two, Lucy and LaGrange buildings, the one with the rigid triangular external bracing. That bracing is certainly a nod to the Hancock building, which you can see through the break in the buildings with its external bracing. And also is probably paying homage to Harry Wees, who, as I said, liked to use triangles in his structures and was very instrumental in the development of the North Branch. We're passing a pocket park called Montgomery Ward Park. At the north end is another housing facility, this by George Papa George and David Hames. When those architects were asked, how come you put yellow in your building? They said, no particular reason. We just wanted to add some color, some whimsy down here on the river on the river's edge. You also can see a faint whisper of setbacks in this building, nodding to the Art Deco buildings in other places on the river. Aaron Montgomery Ward built three structures here on the North Branch. The first of those three is coming up in a moment on the right-hand side of the boat, which would be the east side of the river. This is a building from 1930 designed by an in-house architect at Montgomery Ward. His name was Willis McCulley. And you'll see as we pass this building that here, the verticals of the building are emphasized. So the piers are uninterrupted, whereas the spandrels and the windows above the spandrels are slightly recessed. Notice the very handsome terracotta ornamentation up at the top of the building and down near the base. And look how we punched out openings to provide a river walk. This building is now condominiums, but when it was built, it was uh, connected to the second of the three Montgomery Ward buildings by a tunnel that went under Chicago Avenue. There were people who worked for Montgomery Ward called Pickers. They wore roller skates and they skated between the two buildings via the tunnel, filling the orders for the Montgomery Ward customers. And you can get a good view now of the second Montgomery Ward building. This is from 1906 by Richard Schmidt. Schmidt was a contemporary of Frank Lloyd Wright and like Frank Lloyd Wright, he was interested in the prairie look. So here you see an emphasis on the horizontals, those uninterrupted red brick spandrels, and great interest in intricate geometric ornamentation. This building is now the home of Groupon. There's about 2,000 Groupon employees who work here. This is as far north as we're going to be going on the North Branch. If we were to continue further north, the North Branch would divide into three separate tributaries. But instead, we're gonna be turning around here, and as we do, you're going to see on the right-hand side of the boat, a small island, it's less than a square mile in area. Its official name is Ogden Island. It's named after our first mayor, William Butler Ogden. Besides being our first mayor, William Butler Ogden was an executive at a brick-making company, and his company did so much digging for clay like that it. they produced this small oh, island. Push it down. Push it down. However, none of us here in the city call this Ogden Island. We always refer to it as Goose Island, possibly because in the 1830s, immigrants came to this area primarily from Ireland to help build the Illinois-Michigan Canal. They lived here, and they kept peace. And you can get on this wonderfully clear afternoon a good view on the right-hand side right now of a working cement yard. This is the Prairie Group material yard. Every working morning of the week, barges can come here with sand and aggregate and drop it off to make the cement that's used for the building here on the river. And as we start moving back on the North Branch, you can get a good view now of the third Montgomery Ward building. It's the tallest of the three, the newest of the three, the one furthest away from the river. From 1974, designed by Minori Yamasaki, the same architect who designed the World Trade Centers in Lower Manhattan. Talking about 
the building with the windowless corners. Those corners are clad in marble. And most of the mechanicals of the building are in those corners. Montgomery Ward went out of business in 2001. Um, that building has since been converted into a very luxurious condominium complex, appropriately called the Montgomery. And in a moment then, on the left-hand side of the boat, there'll be a break in the buildings, and you'll be looking east down Chicago Avenue toward the lake. And you will see um, a four-story ziggurat tower on the 1930 Montgomery War building. The top of that tower is a statue called the Spirit of Progress by James Mulligan. Replicas of that statue are on buildings all over the country that at one time housed Montgomery Ward stores. Aaron Montgomery Ward was a very successful entrepreneur here in Chicago. He went from having a catalog that contained four pages to by 1929 servicing over one third of the families who lived here in the United States. Besides having great business acumen, he had another passion which we are very fortunate for. Um, 